Well, oh, thing is looking good, bro. The app is looking great. Let's set that. Let's go to. Whoa, Naruto it looks clean. Oh shit, the app looks good. Naruto. Let's click on my anime list, and doesn't take me there. That's Boom. It takes me to my anime list. If I go back, dude, this oh. is a sick app he made. Single view. We got a bunch of applications. There are a few that stand out. Like I kind of didn't really look that much at anybody that didn't submit a video. Yeah. So I said you must submit a video. Otherwise there's very little chance we'll review your application. Hey, what's up guys? Today we're gonna react Clean GS audio. Front end. So like he's using it. router. Nice, his code is looking good, right? View. Yeah, right. And, and he's using like grid components. We have our Naruto video coming through. Yeah, I saw a grid component. He's got a good teaching style good. and it, look, he's zoomed in just enough. Digital. Yeah, and, and he's using SAS. Uh, he's using React Context API in a way that we haven't used it before. And uh, he's using use history and all the stuff you show. Oh, wow. His uh, GitHub is looking really clean. Are you emailing him or? Yeah, I just emailed him and I just uh, told him to reach back out and shot him my number. Who else? So then we have, uh, let's see, Bradley had a good video as well. So we're looking at Bradley's code right now, and he submitted his application with us, and he he did the Tesla, dude. Yeah, so it's clean, dude. Like, as in, we wanted to build this web page, so good project. Just go ahead and copy. Yeah, that's a good project to submit to us, and we're just gonna kind of skim through. So if he's using SaaS. Yeah, right. he's using SAS. I like that he's using React. I mean, that's bonus points. And then um, yeah. I also like that he's actually on Windows, right? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, because a lot of our, well, most of our builds that we've done are Mac. So this will reach a lot more people. Yeah. Because nice. I know a lot of the people who watch the channel are on, um, on, are on Windows. And then he goes through yeah. the build. So it's overall a yeah. good. Go back for a sec. Uh huh. Careful when you're using important, guys. Um, important, like unless you're using Material UI, but any in any kind of CSS stuff, you don't want to use, and you don't want to throw around uh, exclamation mark important. And the, and here, um, go back to that jQuery snippet. Uh huh. Your favorite jQuery. <laughs> so guys, wherever we see jQuery, it's an immediate no go. Like we don't want jQuery. Like if you there is always a way to write this stuff with the latest sort of JavaScript standards. So jQuery now is phased out. It's not in a lot of the packages. It's not actually part of Material. Um, no, is it, it's not part of Bootstrap anymore. Yeah, Bootstrap um, Five. So it's yeah, it's pretty much it's it's eradicated now. So you don't want to be using jQuery. So if you can go ahead and build something like this again with with by using like React and then ES6 standards, that would be awesome. Exactly. So yeah, I would I would uh that's what I would recommend. And there's a lot of important stuff going on here. Yeah, I mean, there's a lot of uh, nested like you see, you've got like if you go to line 76 down, mm -hmm. there's a there is a ton of like, I mean, in this case, if you're targeting this many things. Maybe I would have just given the same, like given one class class name to everything and just target Because right now you're doing tons of nesting. It's super confusing. It's, it's very coupled. Like if, if I want to change something now, it's kind of like, where do I change it without breaking stuff? Yeah. So you want to make sure that your selectors are, are more granular than this. Yeah. When you're doing success work. Yeah, exactly. So... There's some stuff with the code I think that could use improvement. <clears throat> yeah. But, Overall, I like the video in the corner though. That's that's pretty good. Yeah, and the presentation is really well. He's well spoken. Yeah, half half is good when you do that. So when you show the app that you're working on as well as your code, that's yeah. always a good sign. And but one thing I'll, I'll say is, and it happens with all of us, the energy tends to dip when we're talking. Yeah. So try and always keep the energy up. That's when, you're, when you're sort of, yeah when you're demoing it. Yeah, that's a big one, guys. That's big one. And also make sure you submit because if you don't submit a video, we're probably not even going to take like we got this one guy, right? And he just submitted this to us. So <laughs> we don't know what to do with that. Yeah. But and like, also, guys, somebody submitted a YouTube video. but It was from 2018. Yeah. Right. Put in the work, shoot a new video. Yeah, make um, it because we're only taking serious submissions. Yeah. Yeah, and these are just the applications we've gotten. We've I have a lot of people DMing me on Instagram. We have a ton of
people. These are 67 applications that we've gotten. And then we have a bunch of people DMing on Instagram and yep. through email, they're submitting applications too. But please try to submit your application through this air table. Yeah. Um, but yeah, like send us because everybody, everybody that follows us is a developer. So yep. if you don't make a video and send it to us, like we're going to like ignore anything else because we're looking for somebody who's looking to create content. We're not looking for a software developer to make apps for us, right? Like we are looking for somebody who will produce content for the channel. Exactly. Like simply dropping a link to a website that you built and your GitHub is, is not going to do anything Like we pretty much skip over them. Yeah. Um, it's, it has to have a video. Um, we saw a few with videos um, and those were very good attempts like but the ones that weren't like for example we've got an audio recording it's not gonna do anything guys like anything that we see like that is pretty much gonna go ahead and skip over it so exactly <laughs> make sure you add a video to that that, that submission yep so this is the one that you guys saw us talking about earlier this is the one that we really liked um, this is sick and yeah. he actually does it like a actual YouTube video right so he yeah there's an intro to it. Hey, what's up, guys? Today, we're going to go over how to build a website using any API you want. Today, we're going to use the My Anime List API, as well as we're going to use React.js as our front end framework to build out the website. Hope you like it and let's get into it. All right, guys. So the first so literally 13 seconds yep. and he's in content like he done the intro, very clear intro and, and, and he's framed well as well. Like he had the framing of the shot pretty good. The audio was crisp like yep. and it also skip ahead to his code and his zoom is really good yeah um, his, he zooms oh. into the screen so you can actually see the code and the code itself is like pretty good yeah really clean code and uh and he shows like a complete build so it's a two-hour build um all the way and he uses a bunch of different like he even has an outro so the intro and outro are very important he's actually dropped a piece of content as his sort of submission, which is even better than just a sort of like video saying why you want a position. Like dropping us content like this is going to be what we're kind of looking for because it shows us that you can do it. Like yeah. it literally shows us through Exactly, because we, we appreciate like you saying you want to work for a clever programmer and you believe in the vision. Like we appreciate that, but we're looking for the actual work right now. Like yep. just show us your work. Then if we have an interview, then you can tell us like, why you believe in it or what you're looking for. But our ultimate goal is we have found this to be the best way to help developers at a global level. And we just want to keep maximizing creating content for them and helping them. So just show us the work and that will be a good place to be at. We went through a bunch of people's before we even started recording this video. But oh. those are the few that stood out to us. Like Bradley stood out and then Paras was I think um like I think that was one of the best submissions. Definitely um, top. Yeah. So make it so if you want to model somebody, model Paras's one where he just kind of intros it right away and then boom he starts making the video. And there are not so many uhs and ums and dead time and low energy. The energy is just high. So keep that yeah. energy high, right? When you're recording it, you have to understand human beings are following you. If you're doing exactly. a two, three hour build and your energy is low, somebody will feel depressed and not want to actually build it. Yeah. And guys, as a test, watch back your content and think, would I watch this? Like, and don't be biased. So it's very easy to be biased towards your own content because you're like, this is, this is the best thing ever. But really be like critical and try and look back. And, and, and as a sort of exercise, if every time you say um or ah uh, or uh, like literally restart, like literally restart and, and really be quite like forceful on yourself. Yeah. Yeah, so exactly. Just slow down and you can speak again and try to remove the crazy ums and uhs. But to be completely honest, even if you have the uhs and ums, like it's not going to make the world of a difference. As long yep. as your speaking ability is good, your presentation is good, you've prepared the code in advance and we can see that you're flowing through it, your yep. project is good, those are the things that really matter above every everything. Yeah, because I mean, like we all, yeah, it, it, it's, it's a good point, actually, because so, like you don't have to be the best on camera. That's not really what we're looking for. Like that can come with time. That can be an improvement. Yes. Like as long as you're put, willing to put yourself out there and do it. But the main thing is like Paras's video, the reason why it stood out so much is 
he covered a lot of different concepts in his video and he taught it really well. Yes. Like he taught it really clean, very well. Because like Everything, I know like yeah. Elizabeth Flucher Code who follows the channel a lot, right? And she, 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 you're coaching her right now too, mentorship. And then I know she wants to apply for this as well. She has a very soft, she's very soft spoken. So her yeah. video is not going to start off with like, it doesn't need to start off with like, yo, what's up guys? This is like, it doesn't need to be that. But she could just yeah. be like, hey guys, today we're going to build an Airbnb clone. Let's jump right into it. And boom, it just switches there. And she's like, so here we're working on a React app. She can be soft spoken, but as long as it's clear, yeah. the presentation is good, the code is good, the project is good, that is, you know, like really, really powerful. Exactly. And everyone has their own style, guys. Just like because you might see somebody like like me and Kazio and we're quite like loud yeah. at times. It doesn't mean that you have to be loud. I mean, like everyone has a different style and a lot of people sort of relate to different styles um, and, and, and it can work for you and it could actually be a lot better than our style. Um, it just depends on sort of like just be yourself, like be yourself on camera. When you try and put on a, a on a different persona, that's when we can kind of see through it and it doesn't really come across that well on camera. So I would say just just be yourself and, and it doesn't matter if you're shy or you're nervous, like just you actually reaching out and sending us a submission in the first place shows us that you're willing to put in that extra step and that extra effort. And beyond that, as long as like you can sort of break down concepts and principles and teach it well, the rest is kind of like can be improved over time. That's right. Yep. Yeah. So with that said, the link is still below this video, the Airtable link. Click it, apply make a dedicated video and yep. we're looking to hire somebody within this week. So don't sleep on it. There's not permanent amount of time by September 30th or before it we will have found somebody um, who's like kind of ready to go full time. And again, just to be clear, it's like full time position we're looking for and we're looking for somebody to make dedicated content for clever programmer for eight hours a day. So it's content heavy you know, and for you, it's like super dope because you make, you want to learn coding, you keep learning it and you keep making content on it. And then it just makes such a big impact in people's lives. And that's really like the ultimate thing. Exactly. Also a bonus thing. We actually went into Paras's GitHub and found his, he had a social media account. So he had an Instagram account and he actually had some good content on there as well. So like yeah. that's an added bonus, right? Like if you can show that you're sort of you're, you're, you're quite like you're already producing content. That's going to be something which is awesome as well. And it's that kind of a cherry on the top. Exactly. Yep. So with that said, go ahead, click that link below. If you're ready, make the video and apply and best of luck. Exactly guys. And hopefully we'll see you on the team. Boom. Oh.